A local person. I've been involved with the uh, on and off with Clean Ocean Action predominantly and uh, Namesick Maritime Heritage Association. So a local guy uh, who's retired. <laughs> well, I play around all the water, so I thought it'd be a good idea to try and keep it clean. Are you from? Got the water sample in a cool bag with some ice packs. Now we have to put the number of the location on the lid so that they know where we picked it up from. The location we we describe it as out for it, Spring Street. Spring Street is not where we're at. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. The side of this house and it mm -hmm. runs down to the water and obviously exit. Uh, surface water exits into the Navasink. So the pipe at the first location runs through the second location into the Navasink River. Yes. Okay, so we're it's checking all the locations. Pipe and it's, it's, it's cracked where we just checked it. We can't get water. We can't get the. We can't get the the uh, whatever you call it the container in the crack. So we take a water sample outside. But now we're going to take a water and uh, take a sample of the Navasink but just by the outfall, the outfall being the end of the pipe. Technical term, outfall. I came down on the on top of the pipe itself. Oh. You can walk down, it's clear, at least it was clear. Anyway, we'll have a go, see what we can do. The pipe is up there. They always want you to hold the bottle cap down so uh, it doesn't get contaminated. Okay, Michael, you're in business. Tide's real high today. Very high. For us, where to take the, the sample. That this is the sample location. The ZEP doesn't have the funds and the people to do this in multiple locations every week. So by recruiting people like us, free labor, free labor, <laughs> they can do multiple locations on multiple weeks for multiple years. They pick places where there are outfalls. In other words, surface water is coming off the streets into a pipe, it's down, the, down, you know, down the drain into a pipe, and they all come out into the Navasink. So the outfall we went to is Spring Street. We looked at two places along there. And here there's an outfall just coming out over there. So that's where they take the water measurements because it's not, it's, not, it's not pollution in the water. It's pollution coming from the land into the water. And the main way it comes from the land is through the surface water drains. So the surface. So if you if you drop your dog poop into a drain, uh, you know, five miles inland, it's going to end up in the Navasink or some other river, depending on where it goes. We lost our rubber band, the, the elastic band. So, but that just gets in, in the water, and we. Uh, well, otherwise, if it's loose in there and you t it, it tips up, it will float away. We pollute, uh, but this. Yeah, that's, that's a good solution. This Ruth Goldberg attempt fails. No, it's it's well, it's well and truly jammed. All right, hold the cap down. It's good. Yep. No. Down. But you can sometimes see the water coming out of it. You can see the upwelling here yeah. from the pipe. It's a little swirl. Well done.